So here's something I've kind of wanted to just do a quick go over um, over the past couple of months, maybe even the past couple of years. I can't really remember. I do want to apologize first and foremost if you can hear noise in the background. The dryer is on. I do not want to pause the process because I've got a nice little flow going with it and I don't want to mess it up. So, so something that kind of perplexes me is the nature of diss tracks and what i find really funny about diss tracks is when people say they're gonna make one now like it's of any consequence whatsoever now i can picture a time and i don't know how true this is but i can believe that 10 years ago some prominent and maybe not so prominent but talented internet rappers probably would have been like yeah i'm going to make a diss track on someone i'm going to come up with these brilliant bars and verses in order to absolutely put someone in their place and a person with the lyrical talent and command of the english language could make the greatest roast of all time and put it to music potentially the best case scenario is you make a song so good that other people start singing it for years to come. And hell, you could even make a song so good that the person could legitimately enjoy being roasted. Fast forward to 10 years later, and the best diss tracks you get now are just brain damaged, pathetic school dropouts who will just be like, yo, yo, you got autism. And that's like, the A game that they have to bring to it, followed up by a stolen beat that they found on some crap website that says it's copyright free but isn't actually copyright free because they were too lazy to even look into that. And apparently people are supposed to give a shit that someone with absolutely zero talent decided to steal a beat and shout the most pathetic attempts at insults over it. That a lot of the time either don't rhyme or the most pathetic rhymes you've ever heard in your life to the point where you kind of wish it didn't rhyme and it's like really you're threatening me with this people threaten each other with this as a consequence oh i'm, go I'm gonna make a diss track on you i mean at this point diss tracks are more embarrassing to the person who makes them rather than the person they're aimed at i don't quite fathom how anyone can take them seriously but people still somehow do it's also funny as well some people don't even know what a diss track is and at one point um mcl rapper who is so into rap that he legitimately believed that me talking shit about him without any musical accompaniment without any bars or rhyming or anything that would constitute a rap was a diss track and all i said was the guy was a prick on voiceover over some game footage or something like it's not a diss track if it is the bar has really lowered but it's funny that rap is a genre where people who take up its mantle really do enjoy just dragging its presence down like they really do enjoy just making rap the biggest joke of a genre in the whole of music and it's a shame because there's some absolutely brilliant rap artists who produce some absolutely brilliant stuff and they all get buried under mountains and mountains of crap rap is the equivalent of i don't know like a paperback romance Someone could spend years coming up with the perfect idea for the perfect combination of characters, the perfect dialogue, the perfect situation, and the perfect relationship to be portrayed. And they'll get drowned in 20 or 30 absolute garbage paperbacks written by some rando who's probably never read a real one in their lives. And they just end up being like, oh, great. I got completely buried by another 20 books, most of which have the most generic or stolen plots imaginable. Hooray. Oh look, and they were also written with the ability of an English GCSE student who's destined to fail. Fantastic. 
And honestly, I imagine it's the same with rap. Like, there'll be talented rappers out there who will never be heard of because they'll be drowned out in this crap. I legitimately feel bad for you guys. Like, seriously, if I was a rapper, I'd give up and just move to a more intelligent genre like country music at this point. Professor Curious is okay.